Okay, everybody, here we go. Post market wrap up. <laughs> what a freak show. And when I say freak show, oh, we're going to have a freak show. We can see what I have in store for you. Um, anyway, so um, post market wrap up Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. Um, let, let's start off with this. Um, and, and I love, I love this. Those of you that understand the dynamics of this market, Greg, are you watching what's happening in the debt market? Are you watching what's happening in the debt market? Are you watching the dollar? Yeah, I'm watching it. I'm just happy to know you're watching it as well. Um, okay, so like, you know, let's start off with the market and we'll move on to the, the freak freak show here. So the stock market did fall under a little pressure today, not nearly enough. People, do you realize that during the first three months of this year, we have had like, I don't know, 24, 25 record highs with regard to this market? Bang, 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 bang. You and I called it at the end of last year, and we're not done. I'm here to tell you that. This market um, is setting up for a big move, and uh, it ain't going to be lower. I'm going to tell you right now. What's going to happen here is um, this sell-off in the debt market, which is, you know you know what's driving this, okay? Friday, market was closed. Good Friday. We got this abysmal inflation report, you know, the Fed's favorite indicator, personal consumption expend expenditures, a sharp increase in prices. And this got, see, the market is, 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 is demented, all right? And people like me who participate in it are probably more demented. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's like a twisted freaking child that if it doesn't get it away or it wants to be constantly reassured of something, then, you know, it goes bananas. So, the the this inflation report spooked, got the market spooked, and there are those that, that believe the Fed is not 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 going to be cutting cutting rates anytime soon, which is a complete falsehood. Okay, they're playing the game, and I know for a fact, people believe me. I know that there are there's a lot of prominent YouTubers saying it ain't happening, it's not happening, it is happening. Okay, I love these people. Believe me, I love them all, but. They're really not market people. They don't understand some of the dynamics in play right now. They don't really get it yet. Maybe they will when they see what is about to happen. But anyway, so debt market sell off. The market is going to shrug it off. All right, watch it. Today, we started the day 4.4 on the 10-year yield. We dropped to like 4.35. Okay, the market's got to – it's going to take a bit. Uh, and we need – this market to drop a little bit. This is not nearly enough. Uh, we need, a, the market needs a reason for some profit taking to form a new bottom and then we're going much higher. That's how it works. Um, on the back of, of what we're seeing here, expanding war, you see crude oil today? Oh, how about this? Yeah, how about this headline from CNBC? Jeffrey, thank you, man. US crude oil cracks 85. Yeah, geopolitical tensions. What they're talking about is expanding war. Yeah, that's what's going on. Imagine my shock, imagine your shock. No, um, no, no, no surprise. See silver today, bang, gold, higher, boom. Crypto's under some pressure, extremely volatile space. Believe me on this, <laughs> it ain't going to zero. So I, I, there's so many, again, going back to prominent YouTubers who don't get it at all. They don't understand what they're looking at, and it drives me nuts. And they've kept, certainly have kept their followers uh, from capitalizing on the stock market, from capitalizing on Bitcoin, anything. They just don't want you in any of this. I get it. Believe me. Most of them want you in this, and it's the right move. But you got to expand your horizon. Look, we have a system <laughs> that if we don't take advantage of it, is guaranteed to destroy us all. That's what's going on, okay? This is not a comedy of errors. It's deliberate. You all know that. I mean, that's kind of what I said. This nightmare that we are in. Let's talk about a nightmare. Here's a, <laughs> here's our friend Loretta Mester. You like it? You like that? Yeah, it's a real person. Look at the eyes. I want you to just focus on the eyes here because, hey, wait, you know what? Look at these eyes. Remember that. Remember these eyes, okay? This is uh, Lex Luthor, Neil Cash and Carrie. Look at those eyes. Let me show you one more. This is, uh, I, I often get 
I get some negativity when I pick on uh Greg, Greg, why do you think saying bad things about me? About this thing. Look at those eyes too. Okay, what do you notice here? You see anything? You know, what are they Shakespeare? I think it was Shakespeare said eyes are the window to the soul. Was it Shakespeare? Maybe I'm wrong, but look at these eyes. Is this like a harmless old woman to you? Is that what this really looks like? Those of you that are going to, you know, defend her and say, Greg, why are you picking on an old woman? That this is a thing. It's not even human. Okay. This is not human either. Let me ask you for my ladies out here. I know there's a bunch of you. Okay. Uh, you walk into a bar. All of a sudden, you feel the weight of somebody staring at you. The Bikini Truther. Here's a question for you, the Bikini Truther. You, Bikini Truther, you walk into a bar, right? You're hanging out with your friends, whatever. You feel the weight of some something looking at you. You turn around and that is there looking at you. What do you do? Run for the hills? That's probably what I would do. And then you got this thing. Look at the, these, these, they're possessed. I, I, these are not human beings, okay? They're not in my view. Anyway, what can I tell you, people? Uh, I'm, but 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 isn't this a little bit frightening to you? Imagine waking up and seeing that staring at you. You wake up in the middle of the night and you see this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not very nice. Not very nice. Um, anyway, 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 a couple of other things I want to cover with you. So on the economic front, how about this? This is this is uh, this is how strong our economy is. You know, and that's what you're hearing. It's the same narrative. Turn on CNBC. Bloomberg, Fox Business, strong economic news. Our economy is so strong. Everybody is rich. How's that working out? How about no? No. People are being systematically destroyed. And this nightmare, and you just saw some of the freaks in the nightmare show. Do you think for a split second that these things have your best interest in mind? Now, here's here's his mester, the creature. Okay. Now. Let, let's 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 read be, between the lines here just a little bit, Mitch. Thank you. So the creature here is saying, no, no rate cuts in May. It ain't happening in May. We already zeroed it. I, initially, months ago, I thought it might have been May, but now I've already, I've already, I'm on record saying in June. So when this thing was floated out today, the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down almost 500 or around 500 points. Telling you, you'll this thing is floated out, and this headline hits. All of a sudden, this starts to recover because which you see, what you say in May, but June, June is when it's going to happen. The creature knows it's going to happen. They all know it's going to happen. None of these things want to help you out. So just, just, just so you know. Now, just real quick, um, most of you know this guy. You know Steve Eisman over here from the, from the Big Short. Now, just I look, look at this headline. Look at this headline. Okay, look. While I, while I look around the room, I want you to read that. So Steve Eisman says the Fed shouldn't cut rates because uh, they risk creating they risk creating a stock market bubble. Duh, dude. Uh, I got some news for you. Uh, we're already in a hyper bubble of hyper bubbles beyond the freaking hyper bubble here. Okay, so wh what's wrong with this guy? This is obviously you know smart guy made one good move in his life and now he's famous. Okay, all right, fantastic, lovely, and beautiful. Let's get on our knees and bow down to him. Uh, but uh, this guy's obviously deluded on a grand scale. If he doesn't understand what's going on right now, and this is the, the very reason why the Fed is going to cut rates so it can continue to inflate, pump you more easy money into the market, and of course hyperinflate. A bubble that is already beyond anyone's wildest freaking imaginations. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Imagine our shock here, people. How about we're not shocked at all? Um, no, no, this is something else. Please, all of you. Um, first of all, let me thank you. I was two um, followers away on my Instagram from hitting two. 2000 and I put out like, you know, please help me out. Oh, I got hundreds of more in like a nanosecond. I want to thank all of you uh, for checking out my Instagram. Check out my Instagram. It's pretty cool stuff. Totally detached from this, but there's a link down below. Anyway, so this is what you can expect to happen here with regard to the debt market. I can promise you, I really can promise you this. Um, and this was earlier when the 10 year yield was at 4.4. So I, I put this out in my free newsletter link in the description of this video. So look for a mystery buyer. Uh, who's buying all the debt? Yeah. So lions and friends today, the U S 10 year yield is spiking. Uh, and this is putting pressure on the stock market. You all know how this works. Debt market is the driver. All right. 
Uh, in my opinion, this will not last. In my opinion, where did I write it? This will not last because it never does. Um, I fully expect that a miracle, okay, a miracle will occur before this gets grossly out of hand and a mystery buyer, the Fed, uh, is going to step in here and increase his purchase of debt. Um, and, and I go on to say I would, I'm, of course, I'm going to be called every name under the sun, but I would expect this is an opportunity to add to a long position, which I am doing. Okay, I will be adding. I didn't do it today. Tomorrow, I want. I just want to see. Give it a little more time. I will be adding to my own long positions. Look, Greg Manorino is not a permable. All Greg Manorino looks at is the dynamics that are in play at the moment and the drivers of the market. <laughs> to say the least, you and I have been so far ahead of the curve on this. It's just frankly unbelievable. But anyway, you know, just just real quick here. So. You know, we're hearing a lot of talk. And this morning's video, that was a shocker to me. We got Larry Fink, BlackRock. We got Jamie Dimon, J.P. Morgan CEO, the largest bank on the planet by assets. And Jerome Powell, creature vomitous thing that he is. Okay? It's not. It's also another subhuman, a non-human entity. Warning, warning about this debt crisis, which means liquidity crisis that we are in. It's... But do you think for a split second this is going to get any better? Really, honestly, do you? So if we understand all the things that are in play right now, is it even remotely possible that this is all just by accident? Automotive professionals, do you believe that? I know you don't. My nose is so itchy right now. Does that mean something if your nose is itchy? I don't know. The other day my eye was hurting and then my, my ear. I don't know. It means something. I have no idea. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> don't do that stuff. No, 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 no. I barely even drink. I, I got to get some, I got to develop a bad habit or two. The accountant, thank you. Yeah, the ecstasy of gold. Absolutely, people. You know about this stuff. I, you And I love hearing this stuff. You all understand what's happening here, what's going on and why. And, and it's just it's just amazing. But anyway, look, there is no way, no way, no way, and just one more time, no way that the current situation that we are in worldwide is by accident. We are being wiped out. We are being exterminated, and these are the players. Here's one. I know you love – look at those eyeballs. Look at those. I know you love that one. Here's the other one. Here's the nice old lady that people get mad at me for because I pick on her. Yeah. And uh, and, and, and this, this, this Lex Luthor, Neil Cash Carry, Cash and Carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's looking out for you. Can't you tell? He's looking out for you. Oh, yes, he is. Um, I say no, but of course, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong here. Um, <laughs> so that, that's the story people. Um, again, we got this down you and me, and uh, I'm, I'm proud to say that now before I let all of you go, because I'm getting a lot of people. Look, I try to answer you questions. I really, really do. But then all of a sudden I get, you know, maybe people are just playing with me. Greg, you're not answering my questions, Greg. I, if it's here. I will, I will answer it. Isn't this guy? He looks like uh, the guy from the mum, the mummy, right? What, what was that creature's name in the mummy? You know that mummy, the that I love that movie. It's a good movie. It looks like that, 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 that thing over there. And then you know what she looks like to me? The, the, the freaking guy from the, the, the freak in the, the, uh, this one of the Star Wars episodes, the evil guy. Ah, 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 ah. Looks like him. XRP plumbing. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Doesn't it? And, 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 and this one, and this one. I don't even know which way is up. I mean, which looks better. I, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Ed, I, I will be adding, I'm looking at here from Ken over here, to JEPQ. All right. That's my current position that I am building bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I already got a boatload of uh, JEPI. I'm looking to build my JEPQ as well. Um, anyway, people, I think we're going to cut out of here. Granny, granny. It's not human. Believe me, it's not human. Bob Hunter, thank you. That's a picture of my mother. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's yellow stain. That's the other stain, human creature. Look at that look in her eyes. Is that a look of, of what is that? She's disgusted with, we are a means to an end to this thing here. And then she tries to put in those cute faces. <laughs> I'm just a cute old lady, and I'm going to rip your heart out. That's what she's saying. You know that. You know I'm right. Ron Schubert. Ron, is that you? 
I have, I've been asking you, is this Ron Schubert from the old days, Ron Schubert? Like photographer, Ron Schubert? C CBS it was, right? Is that where we met? One of those, one of those places. If that was you, if that's you, bro, it's, it's good to see you because I've been worried about you. Old mode, petrol dollar is fit. Dude, what's, what do you think is next? What do you think is next? War, you're seeing it now. <laughs> gonna, they'll kill millions of us, millions of us. You all know that. Ah, crazy, man. It's completely insane. All right, people, look. Yes, Roy. Lord Humongous is still gone. And, you know, I think he's really, really gone. Uh, Andy, thank you. Sean, thank you as well. Um, you know what? If you believe in a higher power, and I hope you do, maybe we should we should throw out a little prayer to uh, Lord Humongous. You know, um, guy was with me for a long time, and um, whatever. I hope he's okay. And if he's up there already, then I think he's even better off than we probably are down here. All right, people, look, we're kind of getting out of here now. <laughs> I Coco, I'll break him out again soon. People, I love all of you from the heart. Thank you for your support, your love. Uh, your, your friendship, all of this stuff. It's just means so much to me. I will see you all in the morning. Uh, please do comment here um, on what we have covered. And uh, I'll see you in the morning, as I said. So until then, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Right. See you later.